so emotional um, after crossing the finish line and also at the time after I had the impression that you were nearly like in trance. Can you believe what has happened yesterday and today? I try to believe it, what has happened, but, uh, uh, but it is hard to believe. Yeah, it has been a really amazing two, two days, but uh, I'm really happy because uh, the races have been also really good, what I have done. So I think that both of them has been worth of No photos. Кайса, после финиша вы были, были очень эмоциональны, и чуть позже было такое ощущение, что вы находитесь в обратном трансе. Как вы себя чувствовали? Кайса ответила, это трудно в это поверить, на самом деле эти два дня были великолепные, эмоционально насыщенные. Я действительно счастлива, гонка была великолепная, обе гонки. You said earlier that the first medal was the hardest to win. Um, was this one really easier to win, um, or was this just a lot more fun today? Uh, I think that it was more difficult yesterday. <laughs> and today it was a lot of fun, and I was uh, really more relaxed today, because I thought that uh, I don't have to be really perfect today that uh, I could be uh, satisfied even if I had one mistake or so, <laughs> but today it was really a perfect race. So, uh, almost just like in Östersund uh, in the beginning of the season when I first uh, won the sprint and after that I was really relaxed on course. <laughs> Кайса, вы сказали, что первая медаль самая трудная. Оказалась ли сегодняшняя медаль э, труднее или легче, чем вы думали? Кайса ответила, э, что действительно э, медаль оказалась сложная. Это было, получило большое удовольствие. Э, на самом деле сегодня я чувствовал себя несколько расслабленной. И любая медаль, э, получение любой медали было бы для меня достаточно. Ситуация несколько напоминала Астерсунд в начале сезона, когда я победила в спринте и была расслаблена потом в Персюите. What did you think when you left the stadium after the last standing shooting and then uh, you saw Magdalena in the penalty loop? Uh, I didn't know that uh, she actually was uh, so much uh, behind me because I thought that it's about maybe five seconds or less than ten seconds so I really was afraid that <laughs> she will come and catch me so I I was working really hard in the beginning of the last loop and when I heard in the top of the first uphill that it was maybe 13 or 14 seconds I was a little bit more relaxed but I still tried to ski as fast as I could. Кайса, покидая круг и видя, что Магдалина ушла на штрафной круг, что вы почувствовали? На самом деле я не думал, что Магдалина так сильно от меня отстает. Я думал, это всего 5-10 секунд. И я боялась, что она меня догонит и старалась очень сильно убежать от нее. Только после последнего подъема, когда я поняла, что у меня за спиной примерно 13-14 секунд свободного времени, я немножко расслабилась. Magdalena, what was your strategy today, since you were in the lead most of the time during the competition? Was it to win or to gain a medal? I don't know, I don't thought about this. I only want to run and to shoot well. And um, I only focus on the race and not on, on the medal. You have to, to do uh, well. Uh, to the uh, to, uh, on the whole race and this is very um, yeah d difficult <laughs> when we saw you the last especially the last two competitions we nearly saw wow now she's completely perfect and we also thought at this continues with the three shootings but what were your thoughts with the two misses in the last 
I think it's okay. I had really, really good um, results in the last um, competitions and today too. And I'm only, only a human, not a machine. And this is really good. <laughs> it's okay. And yeah, I shot two mistakes. I think it's okay. It's it's normal. Um, everybody can can miss two two targets. And Kaiser was perfect today and I think she's the gold medal winner, the one and only and I'm the second and this is really okay. Перед последней Магдалена, перед последней стрельбой вы были близки к совершенству. Что вы почувствовали после того, как допустили два промаха? Я думаю, что ничего страшного, в общем-то, я ничего плохого не почувствовал. Я допустил два промаха, но мы люди, мы не машины. Это нормально, что мы допустили промах, допустила промах. Кайса, да, она действительно была близка к совершенству. И она достойна золотой медали. We have seen that uh, after the last standing shooting coming out, you had a delay of about 8 seconds, but finally on the last kilometer you lost about 10 seconds, which is really unusual for you. Uh, have you thought, okay, I will never match the first place and you have been satisfied with the second one? Yeah, I saw Kaiser and she was 8 seconds before me and I know I can't fight with her. She's very strong and I'm strong too, but 8 seconds are uh, a lot. And yeah, I was happy about my second place, my silver medal and yeah, want to, to make a cool down <laughs> in the last uh, lap and yeah, enjoy my silver medal. Далина, после последней стрельбы, после прохождения штрафного круга, вы отставали от Кайси на 8 секунд, а в заключении проиграли 10 секунд. Вы сдались, Магдалина ответила. Я понимал, что 8 секунд это слишком много, Кайса достаточно сильна, и мне не удастся ее догнать. Я подумал, что серебро в принципе неплохо и довольно правильно. Елена, вы сказали, после стрельбы, um, that you felt that your chances are pretty good this week and now you have a medal. Uh, but anyway, has it been harder to get this bronze medal now than you thought? Uh, <coughs> no, it, it, I knew that it was going to be hard the whole season. It's been really tough concurrence and I'm really happy that finally I got my medal. <laughs> <coughs> Елена, после смешанной эстафеты вы сказали, что чувствуете себя хорошо в форме и ваши шансы на будущие гонки очень хороши. Было ли сложнее получить эту медаль, тяжелее или эта медаль, чем вы думали? Елена ответила, что весь сезон был тяжелый, все гонки были сложные и сильно здорово, я счастлив, что получила эту медаль. Uh, event in Vancouver. Now there is another big event, and uh, you have the first medal. Um, yes, a little bit. The most important for me was to prove for myself and for everyone else that I can win medals. And because after the Olympics, it was hard to come back after that, and everyone had so high expectations, and I still have to hear about it all the time. <laughs> but. Hopefully people can see that, yeah, now she got the medal again and we can't forget about Olympics. <laughs>